I don't know what it is about ladies, but y'all be so united on social media, on these apps and platforms, when it comes to anything that has anything to do with a man. Welcome back to Hot Topics TV. This is Brain Flow TV. And let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. And y'all already know, if the topic is hot, we're on it. Let me turn this phone off, and I am not editing this out. We're going to talk, okay? Listen, when do you, I, I just put up a video. I just put up a video that was about Wendy Williams' uh, ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, revealing a $10 million net worth for 2024. And, you know, of course, a lot of people, one person said, I don't believe that shit. And another person said, yeah, right. Maybe if Forbes told me that he has a $10 million net worth, then I'll believe that. Other than that, I'm not believing it. Another person said, anybody could make up a net worth, put it on the internet and say that's their net worth, right? So, and then there are others who are saying he is broke. He can't even afford health insurance. He is that. I'm telling y'all right now. You're on the outside looking in. Kevin got his money, okay? And I'll even go as far as to say that Wendy has her money too. But I'm not going to get into that until later on. There are ways that people protect their assets. If you think that Kevin Hunter and Wendy Williams went up the ladder and made all that money over all them years, and suddenly they're just flat ass broke, then you slow. You are definitely slow. But let's talk about this though, right? Because this is about Wendy Williams trying to put the pieces back together and trying to move on. Everybody could see that Wendy was deeply affected by her divorce from Kevin, right? Um, the new headline says, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, is now engaged to Sharina Hudson. And engaged to be married that is so let's get into the details of that put my glasses on and for those of you who don't know i don't wear glasses but i do wear them y'all see those box lights they're bright as hell and they're right here so i put these on to keep my eyes safe right let's get into the details so it says shout out to page six wendy williams ex-husband kevin hunter is engaged to the mother of his love child Sharina Hudson and it clearly says that page six can definitely confirm this a source told Hunter bought the ring y'all saying the man's broke right he bought the ring the ring is valued at eighty thousand dollars and he bought that ring back in 2020 and Hudson has been spotted in Instagram posts Wearing the pricey ring, you know what I'm saying, showing it off, <sighs> that type of stuff, as far back as that April of 2020, a $80,000 ring. Now, although it's unclear when exactly he popped the question to her, the engagement news, which was first reported by the U.S. Sun, comes right in the middle of Wendy Williams' health struggles which have caused her to take leave from her talk show with no word of when she'll ever be able to return, right? I uh, saw one of my people yesterday in the comment section said, I hate to say it, but Wendy is not coming back. I've been around for a minute. One thing I've learned is you don't count people like Wendy Williams out. They always got something up their sleeve. Believe me, and you'll see it. You'll see. Now, Wendy Williams got married to Hunter, Kevin Hunter, in 1997, back in the day, and filed for divorce in April of 2019 after Hudson, his mistress, gave birth to a baby girl. Now, if you remember correctly, Wendy said she was never going to leave Kevin. But when she saw, because people were hitting her up, now, this got to be embarrassing as hell, right? Because you are a social media figure. You are a media figure. 
And part of your business is talking about other people's business. Talking about whose husband is sleeping with what. Talking about who is not really straight but they buy and they doing this and that. You know, gossiping and whatnot. That was Wendy Williams. That was her bag. That was her gig. So for you to be that kind of person and then the bubble burst in your section and now people have videos and pictures of your husband, this man out here making you look like a fool. It's embarrassing, right? So Wendy was super embarrassed, but Wendy said she could, I could live with this because this ain't the first time that, you know, he's done this. But when I saw a video of him rubbing on the belly and look like they're going to these appointments together, Lamar's classes and all that other stuff is when she said to herself like, God damn, if you got your side chick pregnant and she had an abortion, okay. You, you, you know what I mean? You violated, but we're going to work through that. If you went outside and had a child on the outside and nobody knew about it, we'll get to that bridge and we'll cross it when we get to it. But you out here in the open and public, rubbing on belly, bonding. This is like, this. you're in love, bro. And this is who you really want to be with. So since that's what it is, I got to step out of the way. And that's why Wendy was like, yo, for that, I want a divorce. But it said that Hunter was the one that filed the divorce, not Wendy. I don't know how true that is. Now, Kevin Hunter, he released a statement at the time saying that he wasn't proud of his recent actions. This was after he got caught, right? And, you know, the paparazzi and other people, they were out here making a... <clears throat> they made a spectacle of this because they would show... Wendy Williams driving a car and then they would show this young lady driving the same car and they would show like Kevin was taking the stuff from Wendy and giving it to his woman on the side kind of thing which wasn't so much a woman on the side because damn it was all over the media so he had to have known that you know your wife is seeing this bro anyhow at the time, he did release a statement saying he wasn't proud. I'm not proud of my recent actions. He also said, I take full accountability. And I apologize to my wife, to my family, and to my wife's amazing fans. Page 6 were the ones that exclusively reported earlier that month that Wendy Williams and Hunter we're looking into separating. This is the first time that everybody was like, she ain't going nowhere. He done this before. She stayed all the time, right? And then, boom, they finalized their divorce in January of 2020 with both parties agreeing to do away with, forego the alimony stuff. Wendy notably called Kevin a serial cheater she actually said that kevin cheated on me he cheated on me when i was pregnant with our son you know he's always been cheating on me he's always had side hoes that's just kevin um she told extra correspondent billy bush she said that she didn't divorce him at the time just for the sake of their son and, and so many people do this you know like, I'm staying for the sake of the kids, and I'm staying, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Because sometimes that's, your relationship's hanging by a thread. And quite honestly, I'm not one of the people who believe in running from relationship to relationship to relationship. This person does something wrong. Oh, I'm out of here. Next person does something wrong. Oh, I'm out of here. If you keep doing that, you're going to look back 20 years and probably realize that you've been through about 10 people. 15 people and none of those relationships work so sometimes you gotta have some stuff be like duck on or water on a duck's back you just gotta let it roll off other times you just gotta find a way to go through the hurt and the pain and to heal from it and to deal and other times there's some things where the line is drawn and it should not be crossed and when that line is crossed it's the end you know what i mean i guess this is the end for some people cheating is not the end like for Wendy and Kevin, cheating was not the end. Him having a child and him cozying up with the mother and rubbing her down and all that, that was the end. That means 
You weren't just cheating. You were giving yourself to her. The way you look at me when you tell me you love me is the same way you were looking at her when you were telling her that you love her. You know what I mean? Um, you don't even have to tell her you love her. The way you look at her, I see it kind of thing. It'll make a woman feel like she disgusted with you and she don't want to be with you anymore unless she is into polygamy, which I don't think Wendy is, right? So she added that Kevin had different mistresses all the time and this last one was just the one that he had the longest relationship with. Talking about Hudson. Uh, reps for Hunter and Williams could not immediately be reached uh, to answer all these questions that might be looming in the air, but it is confirmed that a $80,000 engagement ring is in the mix and, you know, Sharina Hudson is wearing her $80,000 engagement ring and they are planning to wed soon. Check it out, right? A woman... Oh, let's clear something up. Kevin did say he should have left earlier. And somebody said in the comment section of the last video, he was definitely talking about Sharina Hudson. He wasn't talking about Sharina Hudson. He was talking about Wendy Williams. He said that that relationship soured a long time ago. And he should have left sooner. Sometimes you're in a relationship and you just drag it and you drag it and you drag it. Maybe because you're trying to save it. Or maybe just because you are just comfortable with the evil that you know. You know what I mean? And you stick around and you stick around and then it gets to a point where it's like, okay, this is now starting to weigh on my spirit. I can't do this anymore. Now it's time for me to go kind of thing. So I think that's where Wendy and Kevin were at, actually. Hearing Kevin say it, he should have left earlier or he stuck around for too long. He could not have been talking about Sharina Hudson if he now has a $80,000 ring on her finger, right? And that's life, man. People work out and then people don't. Who wants to work will work and who don't want to work don't want to work. I just think that their relationship ran its course. I'm not taking no sides. I'm not even saying he did bad. All I'm saying is he could have finalized his relationship with Wendy before he went off to be with Sharina Hudson publicly because that was embarrassing. Now, if Wendy knew from ahead when people started coming to her and being like, because I'd be embarrassed. If somebody come to me and be like, yo, B, look, this is your wife. I got picked. Your wife cheating on you. And I'm like, no, she's not. My wife's a good woman. But we got two beautiful children. My wife's always where I can reach her. You know what I mean? She, and they're like, listen, yo, yo, your wife is cheating, man. Look, I got pictures. Check this out. You see this one right here? See this next one right here? Then it's embarrassing. that Because you're swearing up and down for somebody who is doing you totally wrong. And it makes you look stupid in front of the people who are trying to pull your coattail and be like, hey, you're getting cheated on. You're getting treated like shit. You know, everybody out here knows it, right? You know it's starting to be in the tabloids and on the paper front covers and whatnot. And you're like, no, it's not. I love my person. I don't see it. It's embarrassing. So the, the, the only thing I blame Kevin for is he should have finalized the relationship with Wendy before he moved on with Sharina Hudson. But other than that, we grown folks. We know relationships don't work. Some of them. And when man and woman part ways, that's what it is. You parted ways. Wendy will end up finding herself somebody, maybe, someday. And Kevin has found himself somebody to continue life with. And that's what it is. You know what I mean? Us on the outside looking in, we be internalizing these people's life. Right? And I think it's because people are triggered because... You know, they've been, especially women, they, you, you've probably been hurt in this kind of way before. You've probably been had that cheating man or that cheating boyfriend before who did you just like how Hunter, uh, Kevin Hunter did Wendy Williams. So when you see stories like this, you automatically take Wendy Williams' side and you like, you dirty ass man, I can't stand you. Because he reminds you of somebody who did the same thing to you before. And I get it. I get it. But... He's not him. All right. All right. And more importantly, 
every man ain't the same and every man ain't him. But with that said though, I wish them all the best whenever they decide to get married, um, take the final step. I mean, they're already halfway there. They already had a child together. She already sporting an $80,000 ring. So the next step is just going down and saying, I do, right? Right. I wonder how Wendy's going to take that. Kevin moves on, gets remarried to somebody who is younger. Many people are saying she's prettier. Uh, new baby, new family, whole new life. And there you are, struggling to put your pieces back together when it seems like everything is just falling apart. Y'all leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I'll catch you on the next video. It's BrainFlow TV, or we say Hot Topics TV. You already know when the topic is hot, but we're on it. I'm out. Peace.